Guys, what's up? It's Justin Mark. By the time you're seeing this video, we're a month in the future. I'm actually filming this video November 17th, 2020. And it's crazy because Bitcoin just hit 17.5K US today. I went to sleep really early morning. I was up working until like nine in the morning. And then I decided to go to sleep. And when I woke up, I noticed that my Bitcoin wallet was up 2,000 Canadian dollars. And I was just thinking, holy fucking shit. Because three years ago, I started learning a little bit about cryptocurrency. And then I purchased some cryptocurrency. I purchased some Ethereum, purchased some Bitcoin, and I lost it all. I invested at the highest point in history. Not only did it take a dump and just, I lost a lot of money, but what was even crazier was the exchange I was trading on. It's called Quadriga CX. It was a Canadian uh, cryptocurrency exchange. It shut down. They had a little Ponzi exit scheme and they stole not just my money, all my friends' money. I convinced tons of my friends to invest like their life savings, like 10 grand each into cryptocurrency and they all got fucking robbed. My bad. So before we jump into this video, I wanted to just say I'm not a financial advisor and do your own research. I am not in any way, shape or form liable for any decisions you make, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I've been doing over the last little while and why I love cryptocurrency, why I think it's the future and why I think Bitcoin is going to be worth a lot of fucking money and it could potentially make you a millionaire. I just made $2,000 in my sleep today. So all I'm saying is be very logical, be very smart about this and do your own research, see if this works for you. If it does, great. If not, no worries. Just a little bit of education for you. So I have an interesting life where I travel around the world, make YouTube videos, party, girls, fun, travel, adventures, all kinds of crazy shit like that, right? And because of that, I've had to open up bank accounts all over the world. I have uh, a TransferWise account that allows me to exchange money through like essentially any country. I have uh, foreign bank accounts all over the place. I've like 10 Canadian bank accounts. I've got a bank account in Australia. I got one in the States, etc. And I was against Bitcoin for a while, not necessarily against it, but just the volatility, the risk behind it until I realized how insecure our governments are during the coronavirus pandemic, how they're just printing off money and literally think about this. If you had a hundred grand sitting in your bank account at the end of the year, you've lost two to $3,000. I was living in Mexico recently and I was looking at the uh, Mexican peso in relation to the U S dollar or the Canadian dollar. And in the past two and a half years, if you had a hundred grand, let's just say you had a hundred thousand U S dollars sitting in your bank account back in 2018, at the end of 2020, it's worth 75,000 US dollars, which is fucking insane. If you had invested that money into Bitcoin, into stocks, into gold, into something more secure at holding its value, you'd be a lot <laughs> more financially well off. And it's crazy because a lot of people aren't planning their financial future. A few months ago, I decided I'm gonna start teaching uh, financial discipline and long-term financial success alongside my current content on YouTube so I can educate young men and women to massively improve their quality of life for the long term. And so I want you to sit back and have an open mind. So there's a few reasons in this video why Bitcoin is a lot more stable than the US dollar, the Canadian dollar, etc., and also why it's just a better long-term investment that could potentially make you a millionaire. Now, you might be asking, Justin, do you even know any Bitcoin millionaires? Actually, I do. Uh, one of my friends sold one of his companies for like, I think it was like $40 million. He put quite a bit of that into Bitcoin. He made a hundred grand and used that hundred grand to purchase a Tesla. I have another friend who put $50,000 in into Bitcoin in 2017. Uh, and then I saw him last year. He told me he had about $8 million. At this point, he probably has like 50 million. I don't even fucking know, right? He, he's balling. He's balling. He does something called cryptocurrency trading, where he will essentially similar to stocks, he'll buy low, sell high, and he'll trade his Bitcoin for something called altcoins, which are these like little other um, cryptocurrencies. And as they pump, he'll sell it back to Bitcoin. So he's able to make about 20% of his money per day. And I know this is true because one time I was drunk. He went on my laptop, did one trade for me. And I woke up with an extra $500 in my little crypto portfolio. Pretty fucking crazy. So Here's the thing. This is why I'm invested in Bitcoin and why I think 
there's so much more room for improvement uh, with the way the world is going and the way Bitcoin is going. Because I feel like we're living on this, <laughs> we're all living on this like dirt rock that's pretty much on fire, okay? With the whole cryptocurrency in the whole cryptocurrency market in relationship to the COVID pandemic, it's pretty common when people are like in an economic crisis to put their money in something that is a little bit more untethered. And the whole concept of cryptocurrency is it being peer to peer versus having a centralized organization like a bank, a government body, kind of managing the money and telling you what the money is worth. The reason I don't like that is because if you look at what the US federal bank did or a lot of governments around the world, they've just been printing fucking money and handing it out like fucking candy to their citizens. What does that do? That causes inflation. That means if I make, let's just say I make a six figure income, right? And I'm working really hard on my business. Well, now some random fucking guy who doesn't work at all can pretty much live, a, maybe not necessarily an equal life, but a pretty fucking quality life without any sort of work. And that devalues my work in relation to the economy. Because if everybody has more money, that means in relation, you have less money. So that's just actually how economics work with supply and demand, right? I actually studied this in college and it's really fucking interesting how that works because if there is more supply now of, you know, government confetti, right? Like this money that they've just printed off, that means whatever money you had in your bank account has gone down. And this is why in Mexico or a lot of countries around the world, if you look at countries like Venezuela, if you look at Zimbabwe, a lot of these countries just printed out fucking money so much to the point where it literally became useless. It literally was not worth the paper it was printed on. The cool thing about Bitcoin is there's only 21 million Bitcoin that can ever be created, which means over time, the price is just gonna keep going higher and higher and higher. And what that means is there is limited supply, right? And there has been a very consistent demand over the last decade. And so what's gonna happen long-term in the future is Bitcoin is gonna be comparable to gold. It's gonna be comparable to like high level savings bonds where you can just park your money there, make sure it's very secure, lock it away in a way that's unhackable, untraceable. And now you can pretty much hold your money in a place that's secure, that's appreciating over time. And over time, it's proven that it's just fucking skyrocketing. So who knows, by the time you're watching this video, maybe I'm wrong, maybe Bitcoin went to shit, maybe I, I lost a fuck ton of money, right? Maybe it's gone way the fuck up and I'm a fucking millionaire. Who the fuck knows? We'll see, we'll find out, I don't know. Uh, you know, hopefully it go goes really well. <laughs> we never want it to go bad, like bad, but, it's crazy because even the money I had purchased uh, with Bitcoin, I, I had spent, I put about 12,000 Canadian dollars in uh, three years ago and I lost 97% of my investment. But I still believe in the principle and the values that Bitcoin was founded on because it's really about taking back control of your finances. It's like having a Swiss bank account in your fucking pocket. It's literally like, you know, just being able to have complete control of your finances so the bank doesn't, right? I have a lot of bank accounts and I've dealt with fucking annoying banks, taking out bank fees, just fucking you around. I've even had banks lose my money, right? I've had all kinds of shit happen. And obviously there's a lot of pros and cons to having banks versus cryptocurrency. So what I would recommend is diversify. You never, ever wanna put all your eggs in one basket, right? So what I personally do is I have some money in the stock market and stocks I believe in. I've got money uh, throughout different currencies in the world. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar. Then I have money uh, in Bitcoin. And then uh, most of my money, most of my money, I reinvest it in my business, my learning, my experiences as a man. I reinvest in my knowledge through learning, mentors, travel, things that will grow me, right? And expand my brain expand my knowledge. That's the best investment you could ever fucking make in yourself, 100%. The whole point of Bitcoin cryptocurrency is to hold value and store value. So instead of having money laying around your bank account, you hold Bitcoin and it's just going up over time. Uh, it goes down too, it fluctuates, it's very volatile. Do your own research, right? But it, it's great because you now have control. 
okay? My buddy David Bond is actually someone who got me back into it. We were in Puebla, Mexico a few months ago, back I think it was in August, early August, and he was saying, Justin, you gotta get in Bitcoin. So what I started doing is I started to accept client payments directly through cryptocurrency because the best part, it's not refundable, not really traceable, not trackable, and appreciates in value. So I offer discounts on any of my programs, my boot camps, my immersions, my online mentor program, my online seduction course. I offer discounts on every single program I have. If you're ever curious, by the way, you can just message me and we can give you that little Bitcoin discount because the best part is it goes up, it goes down. Have I lost money? Yeah. Have I made money? Yeah. But what's amazing is I now have fucking control completely over my finances. What's even cooler is if you truly believe in Bitcoin and the technology, which I do, uh, and how it works and the future and longevity of it, well, then you're pretty much just making an investment into yourself in, in, a certain in a certain light of looking at things. And so I just personally think it is a great way for you to, if you did have just money sitting around, put it in fucking cryptocurrency and just having it sitting in your checkings account, right? So it's, it's funny because actually back early in the summer, I invested a huge chunk of money into uh, the stock market. And if I actually look at, uh, you know, what my, I'm just gonna take a look. So I'm actually down a total of $32 in the stock market. It's gone up. At one point I was up $2,000 in the stock market. But if I had taken the money and put it into Bitcoin, I would have doubled my money. I would have doubled my fucking money. Seriously, I would have doubled like, 2x. I put about 20,000 Canadian into the stock market. If I put that into Bitcoin, I would have doubled my fucking money, right? And so you just got to do your own research, be very intelligent, strategic with how this stuff works. By the time you're watching this video, this might be irrelevant information. A lot of it, right? Bitcoin might be overinflated. It might be a bubble that's going to pop. Who the fuck knows? Or maybe it's going to hit, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 by the end of 2021 or early 2022. We don't fucking know. Who the fuck knows? We can't see the future. But what I can see is that I can't really trust the government to take care of me. I can't really trust the way society is structured. I can't trust that I work hard for my fucking money. The government's just gonna print it out, line their own pockets with more money and then just give away money to people. And now the money I've worked very hard for is worth less, right? If you had $100,000 sitting in your bank account in 2018, 2019 with the inflation rate of 2%, you lost $2,000, which means you pretty much lost like a couple hundred dollars per month, which means every day you're losing like five to $10, which blows my fucking mind. You, you sitting there right now, if you have a decent sum of money sitting in your bank account, just sitting there doing nothing, you're literally losing money right now because of inflation. And so you want to find ways to diversify your money through different options, stock market, different currencies around the world, right? Uh, things like cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, investments, maybe real estate, or your own learning, or your own business, or whatever the fuck it is. But you want to constantly invest, reinvest, and constantly audit your life and see what is what. So that way, over the long term, over the next year, over the next two years, over the next three years, you're in a way fucking better financial position you're in right now. Because if I think back to where I was four years ago, I've got 10 times the net worth. If I think back to where I was even two years ago, I've got like maybe like five times the net worth. So we can just assume with the way I'm currently going, another couple of years from now, I'll have way the fuck more money than I do now, right? And so you just wanna be strategic with your long-term planning and constantly reinvest in yourself and constantly grow in your knowledge, your skills, and your understanding of the world. And I'll leave it at that. My name is Justin Mark. If you guys have any questions, you can message me on social media. By the way, in no way am I even in the slightest of cryptocurrency expert. I do, however, surround myself with a lot of guys who are very well-versed in finances, business, uh, economics, and cryptocurrency as well. So I have picked up quite a bit, uh, probably better uh, experience than the average guy. But if you have any questions ever, Make sure to follow my social medias, shoot me a message, bottom of the screen or links in the description. And also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure to click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos. Make sure to leave a thumbs up in this video so we have a positive experience on the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I'll talk to you guys very soon. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. And uh, peace out.